Hi, my name is Adele Onyango and I recently teamed up with the French Embassy in Kenya to help them with work around a fund they have called the Pisca Fund. It's an impactful fund that is exclusively for Kenyan organizations working in Kenya. The theme this year was looking for organizations that are doing work in upskilling young girls and women, as well as those that have programs around sports and mental health. Step one for us was to sit down as a selection committee and zero in on which organizations would be the recipients of these funds. One of the organizations that we chose is Refugee, who are doing amazing work in Kenya when it comes to working with young girls and women from the refugee community. So today we are at Refugee to see the impactful work that they're already doing. And the ambassador from France to Kenya, Her Excellency Aline Kusta Menager, is also coming to see not only the work refugees are already doing, but how the Pisca fans are going to enable them to continue this and do even more. So we're here in the Refugee to um, celebrate one of our small grants projects, part of the Pisca Fund. The Pisca Fund is a fund based in the French Embassy in Nairobi uh, we, for, to support NGOs uh, through small grants uh, to, on various issues. This year we chose to dedicate this uh, fund to uh, women and especially uh, education for women. And indeed, the idea is to uh, help uh, the most vulnerable uh, women to uh, uh, find a, a way in life uh, through education. Now, Refugee is a non-governmental organization that began its work in the year 2008. Out of the work of two humanitarian aid workers, Anne Sweeney and Talin Good, they were working in Nairobi and they saw a great need of um, supporting refugee, young refugee children and young women who were coming into the urban city of Nairobi. That time, the government policy was on encampment, so all refugees were meant to go to the camps. But in reality, there were so many young children and women fleeing conflict in the Greater Lakes region and ended up in the urban city of Nairobi going into the informal settlements without any knowledge of the local language, without any financial resources, and ending up having been abused along the flight path in great, great need. They ended up forming uh, the organization then called Heshima Kenya, and re later we rebranded it to Refugee. Every girl is a unique case for us. We take a girl and we take them through um, our case management uh, program. The case management program uh, assigns every girl to a caseworker and a caseworker takes the history, the flight path of that girl and the specific needs of that girl. Then we have our girl empowerment program. Our girl empowerment program is where we take girls who have need for education and we take them through an accelerated education learning where they are able to sit for their KCP examination after a three year period. We also have our Artisan Collective program. This is where girls, after they have gone through their education uh, uh, journey through the GEP program, they end up uh, going to the vocational classes where they are trained on um, uh, tailoring and dressmaking. They are able to uh, design clothes and uh, scarves and tea towels, and they sit for NITA certified examinations. After that period when they have already graduated from the, uh, the grade two examinations for NITA, they are engaged in our artisan collective where they are paid a monthly stipend to be able to support their livelihoods. And there we engage them to you know, develop further their, their careers in fashion design and uh, dressmaking. And they help the institution to be able to market our signature scarves which we are able to sell to be able to support our programs. They are, uh, here we, we have a good example. They are very young women. Some of them are teenagers. They already have babies. They have been victims of uh, sexual violence. Of, they have seen the violence. Uh, and uh, it's, it's key to, um, for them to, 
to take their life uh, in their hands and, 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 and education is key. And what we do with PISCA is to um, uh, go through, support various means of education. Uh, indeed, vocational training is one because usually these girls have very limited uh, basic education and so to provide them with uh, vocational skills is key for them to, to, to earn their life. We have recently launched our IT Digital Lab, which uh, the PISCA Fund has graciously supported us. Um, we are looking forward to bringing cohorts of girls into the digital space by helping them to uh, learn IT. And not only stopping there, but we are also trying to connect them to digital work where they'll be able to uh, continue leveraging what they have learned in classrooms, setting them up for success because this is the world we are living in setting them up to be able to uh, ascend even in the ladders of computer engineering and the, and the rest. There is a stronger request from their side actually. We did not impose IT but they came we want to, to learn IT because they feel that there is some future for them in IT and I think it's, uh, we are happy to answer their wishes. We have been taught about internet skills. This, uh, these skills will help me outside there uh, to be able to do my uh, maybe applications of jobs or other applications. I take IT classes in at Refugee. So far I've learned so many things. I've learned on how to type. I've opened my Gmail account and also my Instagram account. I've opened so many things through this IT. They've taught me so much and they've taught me with the basic skills so far. It's going to help me through my career that I'm going to take fashion and designing that is going to help me to reach people all over the world. Over the years, we have impacted over 20,000 girls, and those are the direct beneficiaries. The number could be close to other 50,000 or so because these girls carry their families, their brothers and sisters who were separated and they have been rejoined together in Nairobi. So we've had a great impact in the lives of very many young refugee women. Well, I think um, it starts with rights. Sometimes we, we think that this big conference is a little bit uh, outside the, the, the real issues, but it starts with rights and the recognition of these rights and also for the girls to, uh, to be convinced that they have rights and they can exercise their rights. So I would say uh, exercise your rights. And I would um, go back to what the Secretary General of the UN said at the opening of the forum. I mean, it's also about power. You have to, you have your rights, but you have to take the power. So that's what is at stake, uh, I would say to the girl, empower yourself and that's what we are helping uh, them to do. I really enjoyed coming to Refugee and learning more about the programs that they have and even meeting the young women who have benefited from these programs. If you run a Kenyan organization and want to learn more about the Pisca Fund that is from the French Embassy in Kenya, all you have to do is click the link in the description of this video. Thank you.